It's another edition of the Trading Tips video newsletter, teaching you how to become a successful trader in less than five minutes per week. The video newsletter is brought to you by TradingTips.com. Welcome to this Trading Tips video newsletter on avoiding groupthink, knowing when to go against the crowd. Let's begin. What is groupthink? Well, the term was coined in 1952 in a Fortune magazine article by William H. White. Groupthink refers to a type of thought exhibited by members of a group that minimizes conflict and reaches consensus without critical testing, analysis, or proper evaluation of ideas. Individualism, creativity, and independent thinking are sacrificed in the name of group identity. Group ideas are held to be inherently right, expedient, and good. Now, in terms of investing, Groupthink results in bubbles. Group thinkers are like lemmings following one another off the cliff, and thus groupthink must be avoided. Why do humans engage in groupthink? Well, the phenomenon has primitive origins. Evolutionarily, people gain strength from working in groups and individuality was shunned. We still have some adverse evolutionary programming that leads us into groupthink situations. As a trader, you'll need to overcome these genetic impulses. In order to overcome them, you'll need to recognize that you have them and understand why. It's just the fact that most people have a desire to be part of a group. Historically, people who were not members of the tribe were unable to survive. But we see this even in modern times, especially among children. And people want leaders too. This resembles the tribal chieftain. Conformity was important in ancient times and a strong leader was necessary to enforce conformity and make group decisions. But with strong leaders, people become passive and accepting. And when it applies to trading, passivity is almost certain to result in massive losses. But people who go against the group can be ostracized or become laughingstocks. No one wants to be the black sheep. In the late 90s, when everyone was riding the Nasdaq bubble higher, no one wanted to be the lone gun who got out of the frothy market and went short. Because if he was wrong, he would be ridiculed. Heck, even if he was right, he would be the subject of scorn. However, of all the people who stayed in and lost, no one could feel stupid since, quote, everyone was wrong. Not only that, but the losers were able to enjoy the shared experience, as ridiculous as it sounds. Being the black sheep has been historically dangerous, not only in ancient times either, but even more recently. Even today, people are often physically attacked for being different, and this was much more common in the earlier 20th century. We are programmed to conform. And conformity, when applied to investing, leads to bubbles. Pictured here is a field of tulips. The tulip bulb mania of Holland is the greatest example of a bubble in history. Individual tulip bulbs went from relatively worthless to the price of 15 acres, or 10 times the average worker's annual salary, and back to worthless again between 1636 and 1637. In 2004, James Surowiecki published a book called The Wisdom of Crowds, which showed how markets, in the aggregate, find the right price of any good. In the long run, this thesis is correct, but over short periods the crowd can be incredibly wrong. This is because the price that all the individual actors arrive at can be considered the crowd, and the trend, the direction in which the price is going, can be considered the leader. People have a desire to be members of a crowd with a strong leader, so when the trend changes, people panic. Crowds are typically wise until they panic. At that point, they become impulsive, emotional, and irrational. Just think of the angry mob from an old black and white movie. So in conclusion, it is often smart to trade with the crowd and ride the general crowd's momentum. But how do you do this without slipping into groupthink? Well, have a trading strategy mapped out ahead of time and don't change strategies to accommodate for missed opportunities. And don't stay in losing positions just because the crowd is. When things turn, get out. Maintain your individuality. We hope you've enjoyed this video newsletter on avoiding groupthink. Thanks for watching and good trading. This Trading Tips video newsletter has been brought to you by Manny Backus's First Hour Trading System. Every day there's money to be made in the first hour of stock trading. This is the world of day trading, not for novices, unless you have a system. The First Hour Trading System. Visit firsthourtrading.com now and sign up for a free 30-day trial. You could make enough in the first hour of your day to take the rest of the day off. 
you want to view more Trading Tips videos? Visit TradingTips.com. Sign up for our free video newsletters. Become a successful trader by visiting TradingTips.com.